Grand Rising Collective, what's going on? All right, so it's really early in the morning and I'm getting a lot of downloads about stuff. Mm. A lot, so um, I haven't organized anything because I just need to get it out in the message. But the most important take from this message is to not say their name. Out of all the downloads I got, the most important one was to not say their name. They want us to say their name. They want us to say their name over and over. When we need to call someone, we say their name. When we need to invoke something, we say their name. That's what we're doing when we do that. It doesn't matter if we are aware of it or not. Like, if we know that we're doing it or not, we're doing it. Okay, so I just had to get my phone off the table because I don't like the noise that it makes. So I'm sorry for the interruption. Okay, back to what I was saying. Whether we know that we're invoking anybody that we call their name or write their name or even think of their name we are in some way invoking this energy and that's why they need us to keep saying it that's why it's it, it's constantly repeated that's why it's constantly said to us because they want us to constantly be invoking their energy. There's some sort of attachment or bond that happens when we do this. It's important to not say their name, write their name, or think of their name. If there's someone who is bothering you, and you're writing their name or saying their name or thinking in their name, you're invoking this person back into your energy. So it's important that you don't do that. There's an elder on YouTube that refers to these things as the evil one. I don't believe you're invoking evil if you say evil one. This is something I haven't thought about yet, but it's something to think about. I don't think it is, but you could feel differently about it and then take it from there. But I'm more focused on their name because there's something that is attached to their names. These people who are possessed, there's something attached to their name. And when you say it, you are, you are attaching to that, that is which attached to their name. This could be why, I, I don't know if you remember, but like I remember when I used to get tattoos, I would hear people say, don't put somebody's name on your body. Like it's just what people would say like back in the day, don't, don't put people's name on your body. Don't put their face on your body. It was something that was said, I don't really hear it anymore, but 
it was something they said when I was growing up. Perhaps it's because if you put somebody's name who is bad on your body, you are putting this person like into your immune system, like into your into your bloodstream, your I mean you get a tattoo, you bleed. This is some sort of ritual. This is weird. You know, when you when you put that person's energy into your body. Now it's a good person. You know, maybe that's different, but if it's not a good person, then what are you doing with that name on your body? You could be engraving. A tattoo is an engravement. You're engraving something. So when you say something or write something, you are... This is why they want us to constantly say their name or their the titles of their music because they've attached something to that now which wasn't always there because they're just words right the title of a song is just words so we're speaking but now they want to take that as well okay they want to take that as well so when we when we say it it's like a some kind of transfer of energy to them because they feel like they own the word itself this is demonic possession they want to possess the words themselves So if I say coffee sandwich, okay, and that's the name of a song, they want to own the words coffee sandwich. And whenever it's said by anybody, they want some sort of transfer of energy. This is how bad they are doing. I mean, you've got to be kidding me. There's some sort of greed that is so deeply threaded in them that they must take the word away and make it theirs. This is possessiveness because they're possessed and they're obsessed with everything that they're doing. It's making them crazy. So... For example, if the card says, if one of my cards say a title of their song, they want to take it. It's the possession. I want to possess those cards because they're mine. It has the title of my song on it. That's my song. It's insanity. They're insane. It's coming from a place of insanity. In possession, the devil is Destroying these people's minds to the point where they want to possess people's words or words on a card that are affiliated with something that they made. These people have lost their mind. So it's not that we shouldn't say the word of the song anymore, but we need to banish and destroy any thing that they're attempting to do. Because saying their name is one thing, but if their name is like a country, then are you not allowed to say the country? So we need to banish the act that they're doing. We also need to banish um, any type of evil act that they're doing. That's that's basically what I want to say. So if they're doing something evil, we need to banish the act. Um, we need to not say their name while we're doing it. We need to banish their name. So I know that a lot of people teach online when you're banishing someone 
you need to say their name or something. And I'm not telling anybody what to do or what not to do. But what I'm saying is that when you say somebody's name, you're calling them. So it's kind of like you're calling them and then you're... It's like this person, what I'm picking up is that this energy is monitoring and they're like, well, this person keeps saying my name. They're calling me. Yeah. So it's like you keep calling them every time you banish them. So it's like you're calling them to banish them. So I don't necessarily agree with this just based on my experience. You can banish the act of something without um, conjuring up this name all the time, repeatedly saying it or quote, banishing it or removing it from your life. Um, I would just refrain from saying these people's names because of what they're doing right now. Like the people that are doing it. And it's so funny because I had a troll, I think this was a troll, say, you're not saying their names. If you're going to expose them, expose them, say their name. This, to me, was one of the demons that know that if you say their name, you're invoking them. Because it's common sense. When you call somebody, you call them by their name because you want them to come to you. This is, this is common sense. This is not new news. So that's why I don't do that. That's one of the reasons why I don't do that. I'm not promoting these people. I'm not. These people want you to be obsessed with them. They're obsessed with you. Okay? They're obsessed with us. Yes. So much to the fact that they trick. They trick us. So that they can possess us. Possess something means to keep something, to have something. They want to keep people, have them, possess them. The devil makes them want to do this, so they trick. And they make you say their name. They make you sing the words so that you are possessed by them without knowing it. So it's important to... Be aware of this possession that could be happening unaware. It's happened to all of us. We've all done it. This is not a judgment. This is a awareness. Um, what does this say? We also need to be banishing their control over our body. Remember what I say, these people can control demons. Demons are easy to control. So if they attach some type of attachment to you and then attempt to control you, they can they can do this. Which is how they make things happen to people without them knowing. For example, making somebody's body do something. I'll give you an example that what one of these monsters are doing. What they're attempting to do. They're attempting to make people go to the bathroom. When they, like before they go to bed. Like when they get under their blanket, like when you touch your blanket, they want you to have this urgent to go to the bath. They want you to pee. These people are using our waste in the toilets. That's what they're doing. 
Not mine. Not anymore. Not anymore. Because it's... I put bleach in my toilet. But if you're not doing that, then you're giving these people your waste. Let me tell you something. I'm not telling anybody what to do or what not to do. But you need to be careful. Your body fluid... People use body... I don't know how much knowledge you have on spell work and voodoo and witchcraft. But people use body fluid in these acts. They use their own fluid in their acts. Anything that comes out of your body, they want it. Yellow gold came out the other day in the letters. Liquid gold. Piss Collective. Liquid gold came out in the letters in the community tab. It's, it's kind of a couple days back. You know, I post a lot, so sh you got to go. I mean, but liquid gold came out and it stood out to me. That's what they want. That's what it is to them. And they're attacking when you take away their liquid gold. How dare you? Now I have to make you do it, they said. Now I need to try to control your body to make you give me that. Uh, not happening. Destruction. Destruction. That's what's happening. Take control back over your waist and your toilet. I just, just thinking about how much they've taken from me using the toilet aggravates me but I let it go I just work on reclaiming my shit back because you can and they try to stop you by having you constantly say their name or the name of their songs or something about them if this is not about them to you then it's about something or someone else. But whatever it is, it's some type of invoking that they're doing. They're tricking us. They're, these things are tricking us. They have been tricking us. So please, um, if you are struggling with this, do not say their name. And if you are really understanding what I'm saying, then you know, then you remember something. You remember something. Something would be coming to you right now to make you remember that that's what they want. Because they told you. They told you that that's what they want you to do. Now... One of the lessons that I've downloaded was the names. Um, you need to... Where is it? I just saw the light somewhere. Banish evil channeling. What they're trying to do is make you channel them. They could be sending images of themselves to you. Like, these people are sick. I need the collective to understand the level of insanity that these people hold in themselves. It is something that nobody wants to have. So they have to constantly shed it off like a snake onto the collective this is projection so you need to banish these projections make them disappear and go away by banishing them you can block them and they can unblock it so banishing it is 
a good word. What does this say? Okay. Banish controlling demons controlling my body. The download was you need to banish demons controlling your body. These people, they attach things to you and then they use these attachments to control you. So you need to banish any demons or attachments, known or unknown. You need to get rid of them. Because they're using these to in turn control you. So if you feel like something is going on out of your control is because they are trying to place something on you in which they can control because they cannot control you so they need a bridge to you to control you which is this entity that you may not know exists these are the attachments so you must banish the attachments all of them And their ability to control any attachments that are on you. Because this is what they're using. Like a remote control. You need the remote to control the video game. And they're, they're using these attachments as remotes. Banish any sleep spells that they could be doing to you when you're having downloads. And banish any projections. I have had these things be so desperate to stay in my memory and in my life. That they will project pictures of themselves into my mind. They have projected images of people's bodies into my mind. They're, these things are... And you can know when you're really getting these people out of your life. When they start doing these little stupid ass things. And all you have to do is just banish it. Banish them. And don't invoke them back into your life. By engaging with anything they produce. And it doesn't matter what it is that, I, that you're understanding this as. It doesn't matter if it's food. Just don't engage with it. Because you're... It's like some type of commitment and bind is happening when you do that. They're binding. They want to bind to you forever. These people are possessed. And someone who is possessed never wants something to end. They never want to end with you. Whatever attachment they have with you, they never want it to stop. Something is wrong with these people. They are possessed by demonic energy that they have invoked in their life. So they learned to do the same thing to us. So that we can do the same thing to other people. Without knowing that we are doing it dangerous so banish channeling these evil people because they want you to channel them in everything that you do they want you to channel them in everything that they in, that you do oh my goodness. the violence okay that was it now violence this was another download i had all right, violence is, um, they're trying to, okay, these people are very violent, okay? So, if you're feeling violent, and you're not a violent person, like, if you're not violent and you're feeling violent, these people are, what they're doing is trying to swap with you. Remember, they need your innocence. So, they need to swap with you. They need you to be the violent one and them to be innocent when it gets too much, when when they can't control themselves, when they start getting violent in public and acting crazy, they need to put it on somebody and they choose the collective 
because we are not violent. They need to swap that non-violent energy. So if you feel violent and you're not a violent person, you must banish the spirit of violence and return it to them. If you keep banishing something and you don't send it back to them, they're going to keep coming to you to banish their violent energy. Banish it in you and return it back to them and make sure they get that return so that they understand that you are not some sort of personal banishment shop for them. They're, per they're, they're psychopathic. Again, this is a form of healing that they're stealing from you unknowingly. Banish and return to them. It's like a slap saying, no, don't do that to me. Don't keep projecting your violence onto me. I'm not a violent person. But they want you to be violent so that they're not violent. They're constantly trying to swap with us by running away from what they have attached to. By putting it onto other people because they don't know how to release it. They don't want to. They don't know how to. Violence comes from demons trying to offset their violent tendencies onto us. So that they can control it in the 3D and destroy you at the same time. They won't let it go, which means that they want to stay violent. They just want to pass it on to your ass so you could be violent too. Or some of them are swapping out. They don't want to be violent. They want your life. I want their life. I want what's coming for them without doing the work. If I can just trick them into being violent, that I can take it. The devil said, yeah, do that. The devil's still going to destroy them anyway. But again, it's all a destruction game. Who can destroy who first, when, how, and, and, and everything else, and taking and theft. That's all they want to do. Okay, so don't be careful with this violence thing, watching things that are violent. Again, do whatever you want, but... Their names are demon-possessed. What they do is possessed. What you do with them is possessed. And then you can get possessed from it. Banish the spirit of violence that you can be picking up from these people. When you watch violence, you are attaching to violence. Now, some of you might say, well, I'm not a violent person. I'm just looking at it it takes time it's a slow process depending on how resistant to violence you are but one day you might just that you know you might just and you be like what the hell where did that come from what is that i'm not that's not that's the violence it's a seed that grows Seeds grow. It's planting seeds in your mind. So banish these seeds of violence that they're trying to put in you spiritually. You can fight in different ways. Some of these things are trying to um, make you violent by making you fight back spiritually in a particular way you don't have to do this it's one of their ways of tricking you into being a violent person spiritually so that eventually with the hopes they hope that you physically become they hope that that spiritual violence that you feel inside of you becomes physical and they can destroy you and sacrifice you that way remember they're multitaskers this is earth energy, lower earth. Um, when you're praying to angels, 
and you say their name, remember you are invoking something, whether it's good or bad. What these people try to do is pass themselves off as angels. I don't even know if they're fallen angels, these people. I wouldn't even call some of them that. Again, it's a label, a mask. What are they really? I don't care. But what I know is that they're masking as angels. Some of them. Maybe some of them are angels. I don't know. But what I'm saying is that when you pray, you are, and you pray and you say a name, you're invoking something. Whether you know it or not, what you know doesn't matter. What you don't know doesn't matter. It's what it is. You are invoking something. When you, when you call something, what are you doing? You're calling it. So, they want you to constantly, they're so fearful of you forgetting them. Um, that they might try to pose as something that you say the name of. So if you, you say the name of a saint, which you believe is good, they're going to try to mask as that because they're desperate and they're psychotic. So you need to have some sort of awareness of when you are actually spiritually communicating with something good and something evil. You need to have that kind of discernment. Because they don't want you to have that discernment. They try to confuse you. So this is again negative air energy uh, in reverse that does this. That, that lower air aspect of that person. They could have other placements. But um, this is a transfer of energy. They constantly need to transfer energy to us so that we are either acting like them and mimicking them and or they need to get, get it off of them. Some, some of these people are tired. They're tired of being in there, but they can't get out. And they use us as a way out. There's so many different things that these people are doing. It's either or. But neither matters. This message is to help you get these people out of your life. That's all it's for. It's to banish anything that they're doing. But be careful in saying their name. This was a huge problem. Because people are unaware some people are aware, but they don't tell people. So I'm telling you to not say these people's name. Even when I'm doing a reading, I have to be careful. I have to banish it immediately. Pray and protect my energy. Or sometimes I'll just say, you know, you see it in the letters. It's there. But the next person that comes in my comment section and tells me to say one of these things' his name, you're getting blocked. These are trolls. And they might not even know that they're trolls. But you are one because you don't know what you're talking you don't know what you're talking about. You're telling somebody to say something so that they can invoke something in their energy. Because that's what saying something is. That's why words are so po powerful. Because you are invoking what you say. And these people want you to say bad things so that you can invoke it in your own life. And them get some sick credit from the devil for doing it to you. Understand that is what they want to do and nothing else. Don't be misled here. That's what they want to do. That's why they're forcing themselves into the environment with the music. Because they're like, well, damn, if they're not 
attached to me, they're attached to the music. Don't attach to any of them or any of things that they produce. Now, I can't say that all music is bad. But I will say that a lot of it is. Not, if I say all of it, then it's extreme and it's not true because there is no all of anything. Like it's just, but a lot of it. And there's particular people doing this. It's the same people doing this. And if you watch this channel, you can see it with your eyes. You don't need to invoke it with your mouth. And I'm working on that too. So just have discernment when you're praying because they want to be in that place and then they want to use you. Be uh, aware when you are at your altar, they try to abuse you at your altar and manipulate you and play somebody else in your energy. Like these people are psychopaths, dude. These people, they don't have any sense in their head. They're stupid. They're so stupid and they're trying to make us stupid. It's a swap. We're not stupid. And they can get intelligence from us by swapping with us and making us dumb. So please don't be dumb with these people because that's what they are. That's what they are, Collective. They're dummies. And they want us to be dumb too. They want our intelligence or they just want us to be dumb if they don't want our intelligence. One or the other. Or both. But when you're praying, be careful to use general words like evil one or lower vibrational entities and banish them from your energy return what they send to you because otherwise you're just a walmart store where they're just coming to you know pick up some items that you're gonna do for you know it's like somebody just using you could be using you as some you know ways to banish their negative energy for them without you knowing that you're doing it that's why these people be stalking when you be praying because they want that blessing to come to them. They want to take your blessings from you. Like when I say these people be stalking. like It's like they have no blessings at all. So much where they got to they gotta stalk people when they're praying. Child, it's over for these people. When you are doing stuff like this. You are, you are, you are so low. You are the lowest ranking demon in hell. That's what these people are at this point. To the point where they got to steal somebody's prayer. They got to. Dude you are gone at this point. You're nowhere anymore. You don't exist. So they need to crawl on you. Attached to you to have some sort. Otherwise they don't exist anymore. That's why they're begging you. Please. Look at me. Please. Please talk about me. Please. Please. They don't even care if people know that they're doing it. They don't care about humiliation. They've been so humiliated, they don't care about humiliation. Please. They are they feel like they're disappearing because they are. But every time you attach to these things in any sort of way, you are bringing them back. You are, uh, what's the word, invoking and you're also reincarnating. You are also, why can't I think of this word? Oh, 
Oh my gosh, they don't want me to get this out. I said it the other day too. You get what I'm saying though. It's, it's bugging me that I can't remember this word. It's going to come to me later on when I'm, you know, cooking or something. Like, it's just going to come to me later. It's going to... What is the... You get what I'm saying, though, collective, okay? And I know you know the word, too, but it's just... It just the, you know when the word just won't come to you? These... I Man, I swear to goodness, these people fucking with me. Yeah. This Aquarius is stalking like a psychopath, yo. This person is sick, yo. This Aquarius person that came out in the reading yesterday, something is wrong with this person, child. This person is like, yo, you could, like, if you're really tapped in, you could tell when these people are. Because they keep, they keep trying to attach. Any energy that keeps trying to attach to somebody this person is depleting. This is why you must never engage with these things. And you must do what you got to do spiritually to stay away from these things, collective. Because it's nothing but destruction. Let these people's lives be an example to you of what destruction is. Look at their lives and let it be an example. And don't follow it. And don't engage with it. Hmm. I'm hearing pray to the saints. I don't know if that message is for everybody. Use your discernment with that message. Because they're wicked. Okay, and if you don't have discernment, you shouldn't be praying to nothing until you have discernment. That's the message. Because they want you to pray to them. They want worship. You know these basic things. We learn this. We know this. And if you didn't learn it, you know it now. That's what they want. You must always have discernment in doing anything spiritual. You do something without discernment, child, I don't know. I don't know what to cover. I don't know. But just know that the divine loves you and the divine knows your heart. And if the divine forgives these evil creatures, then the divine forgives you. With no doubts. It's like you could almost do no wrong. In the divine's eyes. That's the message. But don't get it twisted. That's the message too. The message is also don't get it twisted. Because the divine is bringing wrath upon this planet right now. So don't get it twisted. That might be for the karmic. Because somebody took the divine's love for granted. And got it twisted, child. And now they in a bind with the divine. And that is a bind you don't want to be in, child. Ain't no damn uh, banishing going to get you out of that. You can't banish the banisher. <laughs> so, collective. That is the message for this reading. I did not pull any cards. I don't have cards with me right now. But I, and I know this message was not, they didn't want this message out because they was trying to, they was trying to put me on some kind of sleep nonsense here. Okay, they always trying to put me to sleep. And let me tell you something, when they, when they trying to put you to sleep, just know that you're waking up. 